Hi, today I am going to show you how to prepare, fillet and then cook this beautiful rainbow trout and the dish I've chose to cook with this trout fillet is a fantastic trout fillet with mushrooms and some crushed peas. Now uh, mushrooms have got a great affinity with trout and I did a video on trout and mushrooms a while back you know it wasn't in the best quality so I thought you know now we're in HG I'll remake it you know and this is going to be 10 times better than that original video. So first of all I'm going to move these bits and bobs out of the way and I'm going to show you how to prepare this fantastic rainbow trout. Okay, so I'll take my trout, let's move those ingredients out of the way, put them over there a minute. And this, unfortunately, is a farm rainbow trout, but I mean they're really responsibly farmed over here. They're cracking fish, but you know, all you hunting, shooting fishermen out there, I'm sure you've got some in the freezer somewhere, or you might have caught some today. So, you know, use the same technique, and if you don't want to use trout, you know, a nice salmon fillet, or to be quite honest, sea bass fillet, sea bream, any nice firm flesh fish will be brilliant with this dish. So I'm going to position the camera and zoom it in a bit so you can have a real good look at what I'm going to do. So you start with your fish, head to the right, you can see there, there's its vent, its anal vent. So all you do, put your tip of your knife in and you go all the way up to the head and pretty much straight away you've exposed the inside. This is a lovely clean fish as you can see. Basically, get your hands in there. I like to pull the gills out as well. And that is pretty much it done. I'm just gonna loosen off that bloodline, which I'll show you what to do. And then we shall give it a wash off and we'll fill it. I'll just show you in there, when I mean that bloodline, there's a bloodline just running along the back backbone. Just gently the tip of your knife you haven't got to go too deep in and all you're doing is scraping it away and that is pretty much ready to be filleted so I'm going to wash that under the cold tap get rid of that blood and let's fillet it now trout to me are one of the trickier fish to fillet purely because if they're fresh like this they've still got a bit of their slime on so what I tend to do is I tend to fillet these with the head on purely so you've got something to hold on to, you know, else you'll never do it. And all we do, like all my other videos, you just put a nick in there by the neck end and you get your knife in and you find, you can look in there, that backbone which is there. And all you do then is one good movement all the way down to the tail. And there you have one perfect fillet and you can see how clean that is there is no meat left on that bone and it's funny how we call meat meat and fish meat anywho let's carry on what we do we flip it over make that incision again and then snap in to the backbone if you can see in there move that so you can see and then again holding that head not a lot of pressure on nice and steady all the way down there's fillet number two and you can see how clean that is not enough left for my poor old woofer fantastic right what we're going to do now clean up that slime we trim these up a bit so along that back the fins because we basically took it off perfect clean in one go just trim it up same with this side and what I'm going to do I'm just going to square this fillet off because I want that prime bit that can go in a stock but it won't go in the stock it'll go in my dog because it loves fish so <laughs> belly bones just gently Cheat them out and I'm going to square that off and you're left with that fantastic looking almost professional looking fillet so we'll do that other one let's move that out of the way I can show you those belly bones you can see just on the top of my knife there holding them back 
all the way along square it off like I said this ain't going to waste some of it will go to stock but obviously my woofer likes to eat a bit of fresh fish don't we all so I'm just going to take our tail off same size so you might as well just put that one by there and there we have two boneless trout fillets are ready to rock and roll now this dish is like all my other dishes simple that's why I put them on here you know I want you guys to try it I mean they always look complicated on the plate but that's the beauty of them they're so so simple to do so there's my lovely fillet looking like a Rothko painting ready to go and in here an old school English half pint glass I got 150 grams of frozen peas now I'm going to attempt to cook this in real time it should all come together in about 10 15 minutes so into my peas as you can see there I'm just going to add enough water to cover we're going to get those boiling until they're tender take about three minutes so I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar just to sweeten them up bring out that lovely flavour so we'll get those going and once they have tenderized we will drain them we'll start cooking them off and then we'll get on cooking that beautiful trout fillet right take them three minutes nice and tender so I'm just going to drain those off quickly and then I'm going to leave them to one side so in that pan I'm going to put in a knob of butter and we're going to slowly start sweating down the shallot right let's get a decent knob of butter one about between 50 and 100 grams gonna get that in there melting down just like that to what the French call again bernoisette and then we're just going to gently start sweating our shallots in the meantime I'm going to get the pan on we're going to start cooking those trout fillets and then I'm going to get the other pan on and we're going to do the other dimension to the dish which are these beautiful mushrooms we're going to saute in butter and we're going to build the dish a nice heap full of peas on the plate our lovely trout and then topped with these fantastic mushrooms so that's coming down nicely so I'm going to get that in we're just gently not adding colour get those cooking off slowly so while my shallots are sweating down take my lovely mushrooms I'm just gonna half them just like that simple as if they're a bit bigger into three this is going to be lovely like I said I did a video with trout and mushrooms it was really popular you know it's such a good combination it really is I mean I might even add a bit of chili to those mushrooms you know give it just a little bit of heat not too much not over the top just to give it another dimension so there browning nicely I'm going to add 150 grams of cooked peas to it my 150 mil the fish stock and I'm going to season it up some salt now I'm going to move this pan over to the right because I want to start on these mushrooms and these trout so it all comes together fingers crossed all at once okay so you can see now I've got my peas on at the back there just gently ticking over and I've got these two pans on ready for the mushrooms and the trout now with the trout just a tiny bit of oil I put a bit on the fish as well just to get the seasoning to stick and then I'm gonna put a bit of olive oil in there a bit of olive oil in there it's that easy and then just a knob of butter into each one, one in there 
one in there and of course the butter won't burn now because we put that olive oil in to protect it because it's got a higher burn temperature than the uh, butter so I'm just going to season these bad boys pepper some salt and hopefully 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 this will all come together in one go and that would be cool right you see my oil and my butter melted lovely in there oil and butter in there so what we're going to do put our mushrooms in down here gently lay our fillets push it down to get a good contact because this is really fresh there's one there's two I am going to attempt to keep the camera running so you can see it's done in real time nice contact and basically cook that two or three minutes skin side and then obviously finish it off a minute flesh side then get me watch ready now this give that a taste oh oh yeah can add a bit more salt Now with these, the trick to cooking mushrooms is having plenty of room, nice and hot pan, get them rocking, as you can see, it's easy when you know how, and you can do this at home, you know you can, you watch me do this in real time, and it, you know, it's hard doing it for the camera, so at home, you've got plenty of time, you can cook that first, keep it warm, cook your mushrooms, keep them warm, you know, and then your trout finish it off and come on just build the dish now with those mushes i mean i can just eat a pan of mushrooms i love them just some chili flakes in there just a little bit of heat we have fish my fish slice have a look how it's looking lovely not a minute Right, I'm happy with my mushrooms like that. I want them to have a bit of bite. Check my fish. If I can get it in. Against the clock. Oh yeah, look at that. And that one. Give it a minute that side. In the meantime, stick blender with these bad boys. Not too much fuel, right? Bit of the old uh, skin coat of the month. Yeah, beautiful. So you've still got a bit of integrity. So I've turned the peas off in a turn, the mushrooms off, turn the trout off. So that is all cooked. Time to plate. Right, let's do this. Spotlight on the dish. There's my lovely crushed pea puree. And of course, that fish stock makes its own sauce. Look at that. Look at the colours there. Amazing. Right there. Let's get this fish. Excuse me a minute. Put one thing just like that. And then we'll sit that one like that. And then with the mushrooms, we'll just gently add them into there like that. Put a couple on there. I haven't got the shake, so I'm just trying to get it off the spoon. And that is my rainbow trout fillet with crushed peas. And mushrooms there's the finished dish now doesn't that look stunning the peas the mushrooms oh man that is amazing and that trout if I can get a bit out get the trout out 
is what you want. It's cooked to perfection as per usual, you know. Can moisture is in there. Let me just show you that fish with a spoon. Look at that. Can moisture is. Hey. It's like I almost know what I'm doing. With those peas, fish that cuts through the oiliness. Mm. Listen, I've got to go away and eat this. Please, please give it a go. That crispy skin, mushrooms, fantastic. Thanks for watching. Make sure you try this. Take care.